Hi there, and welcome to the overview of payments powered by Marketing 360. Payments is the easiest way to create and send professional invoices to your customers. Today, we'll dive into each aspect of payments and talk about how best to utilize it for your business. Let's get started. To set up payments, you'll need to walk through the setup wizard. Navigate to the global app bar in the top left corner of the screen and then select payments. You'll see a welcome message followed by a blue unlock payments button. Select that to begin the setup wizard. You'll be directed to a page where you'll need to enter in your business details. Please note that you'll want to read each description beneath the text fields as they hold important information while entering in your info. You'll be asked to enter in different business information as well as business owner information. Begin by selecting your business type and then proceed to fill in all of the appropriate fields based on your business structure. Our system will review the information that you've just input and ask you for verification. If there are any errors or any more information is necessary, you will be notified of that here and asked to go back and update your setup credentials. If everything checks out and is good to go, you will be all set to dive into the Payments tool. You will then be directed to the Payments Overview page. Here, you'll see a high-level overview of all payments and revenue. View the total revenue over the last 30 days, as well as get in-depth statistics on new customers, repeat customers, transactions, and refund amounts. Use the graph on the left-hand side to visualize your revenue trend and numbers at a glance. Below that box, you'll see your payout information. This number shows you an estimate of your payout amount on your next payout day. This number will change as more information filters in. If you change your payout schedule to be paid out on a weekly basis, this number will continue to increase until that payout date and then that number will reset. We will walk you through how to change your payout schedule a bit later in the video. To the right of your payouts overview, you'll see this very walkthrough video for easy access, as well as links to support articles to assist you should you run into any issues. If you can't find what you need in the quick links, scroll down to the bottom of the page to find a link to our full online knowledge base. Here, you'll be able to browse more support articles and send in a ticket to our support team with any questions or concerns. Now, let's click into the Invoices tab. On this page, you'll see your Invoices overview at the top and a list of all of your invoices at the bottom. View your total over the last 90 days for the amount of paid, currently open, or overdue invoices in your account. Use the amount breakdown on the right to easily see how many invoices fall into each of those categories. Below these overview numbers, you'll see a list of all of your invoices. You'll see the customer name, invoice identification number, customer balance, invoice total, the date the invoice was finalized, the due date as specified by the invoice, as well as the status of each invoice. At the top of the list are some pre-built filters to help you organize your information better. These include invoice drafts, open invoices, overdue invoices, as well as paid invoices. Click on these tabs to better organize the list of invoices and help you find what you need more quickly. To create a new invoice, click on the blue Add New Invoice button at the top left corner of the Invoices page. A pop-up window will appear where you can begin filling out the client's information. Enter your customer's name or select a customer that is already within your payments customer list. If they are a new customer, you'll be prompted to enter in their name and email address. Once you've entered the customer name, begin filling out the invoice item information. Beneath the description, write the item or service provided to your customer. 
This will appear on the invoice and let the customer know exactly what they paid for. Add a quantity amount if applicable, as well as a unit price. You can add more than one item or service by clicking on the blue Add Additional Item button and following the same process. You'll notice that the system automatically totals up your items in the total column. If you need to add tax to your items, you can do that by clicking on the Add Default Tax Rate button and selecting the tax you'd like to apply to your list. Please note that this adds the tax to every item listed on the invoice. If you'd like to add tax on an individual item level, Click on the three vertical dots to the right of the item and select Set Item Tax Rate. This will apply it to the single item and not every item on the invoice. This is also where you can remove the item from the invoice. We will cover how to create preset tax rates to make it quick and easy to add to invoices a bit later in the video. Once you've added your items to the invoice, use the memo text or footer text to add more information to your invoice. This is not required, but you can use this section to leave additional instructions regarding your invoice. Take it as an opportunity to let your customers know about any sales or deals that are currently going on, or to let them know about any special notices for their purchased items. Scroll down and you'll see the option to automatically charge your client with a card that is already connected to their account, or email the invoice to your client for them to pay manually. If you have a client that doesn't have a card attached to their account, click the Add Credit Card button to begin entering billing information. If you want to send the invoice for the client to pay manually, select the second option and set your payment terms. This defaults to 30 days, meaning that the client has 30 days to pay the amount. You can change this payment date by changing the number in the Payment Due box. Once you're finished, click the Finalize and Send button and the invoice will send via email out immediately. Should you need to close out this invoice but not need to send it just yet, use the Save and Close button and it'll be saved as a draft. To view the details of an invoice, Simply click on it and you'll be taken to the Invoice Details page. Here, you'll see everything you see when you create the invoice, as well as an option to resend the invoice. You can also charge the customer from this view. Use the three vertical dots icon to the right to edit or delete your invoice. Please note that you'll want to make any edits and changes before you send an invoice. Now, let's click into the Customers tab. In this tab, you'll see a list of all of your customers to date. Use the search box at the top of the page to locate a customer quickly. Click and select the boxes next to the name of the customer to bulk select and then mass delete clients. Click on the customer name to drill into the customer details or the email to quickly open your email inbox and send a message. Use the blue add customer button to quickly add a brand new customer and enter in their name, email address, a description, as well as their billing information to get them added. While in the customer details page, you'll see general account information such as name, email address, customer ID, the date they were added as a customer, as well as billing and shipping information. Use the Update Details buttons to modify any information. Additionally, you can use the three vertical dots icon to delete the customer if you would like them removed from your database. You will also be able to see the customer's current balance here. Should you need to add a card to a customer's account, you can do that in this view by clicking the Add Card button and entering the billing information. Below that, view all of the invoices associated with this account. You can create a brand new invoice in the same way we previously did from this view. 
Now let's click into the Payouts tab. In this tab, you'll see your Payouts and Balance Overview. You'll see an exact amount of the payments, refunds, and adjustments that are on the way to your bank on your payout day. For a quick overview, payments are the payments that you took in that generated revenue for your business. Refunds are refunds that were initiated on those transactions after that money had already been sent to the bank. Adjustments are credit notes that you made on invoices to adjust the balance after the fact. You'll also see a total for estimated future payouts. This number is based on the number of transactions that are still accumulating prior to your next payout date. Below, you'll see a list of all of your payouts. You'll be able to see the amount paid out, the bank or card that the money went to, the date the payout was finalized, and the status. Click the blue Where's My Payout if you're seeing a payout that seems to be missing from your bank. Select the box next to the payout with the appropriate date and click Next to be given instructions on how to resolve your payouts issue. Now let's click into the Reports tab. Here you'll see a full overview of all the transactions from your account. You'll be able to view charges, refunds, payment failures, as well as any adjustments that have happened. Here is where you can see all of the descriptions you've added to your invoices to help better understand what happened in each transaction. You'll also be able to view disputes. Use the three vertical dots icon to the right of the dispute information to view the receipt or resolve the dispute. If you choose to resolve a dispute and dispute a charge, you will have the opportunity to provide a brief description about the service or product provided, in addition to any contracts or information that might pertain to this specific charge. You can drag or drop a receipt or file below the description as well. Click Submit and the request will be sent along to your bank. Once you dispute a charge, you'll see a new status for the dispute. There are a few different status types, so we'll go over each one and their meaning. Needs response means no evidence has yet been provided for the inquiry or retrieval. Under review means that evidence has been submitted to the card issuer and it is under review. Warning closed means that the inquiry or retrieval has timed out and did not escalate into a full dispute. Charge refunded means you manually refunded the payment before the dispute process could progress. Won means you won the dispute and keep the funds. Lost means you lost the dispute and have lost the funds. That takes care of reports. Lastly, let's click on the settings tab. Here in the settings tab, you'll be able to edit your account information and settings. Select from the tabs within the left-hand navigation to move between the account settings. Use account information to modify your account settings such as account name, business address, and your published business information. If you need to close out your payments account entirely, here is where you can find information on how to do that. Tax details are modified and managed by Stripe a secure money management company. Click this blue button to make any changes and securely update your business tax details within Stripe. The Tax Rates tab is where you can add your predefined tax rates. We referenced this earlier while creating an invoice. If you need to add tax to an item on your invoice, here is where you create those tax options to be quickly used while generating invoices in the future. Finally, the Bank Accounts and Scheduling tab shows you the bank account you have connected, as well as your payout schedule. If you need to modify what bank account receives your payout, you can modify that here. If you would like to change your payout schedule and say, change your payout date from every day to once a week, use the drop down here to select a different payout schedule. If you have additional questions surrounding what payout schedule makes the most sense for your business, 
you can click the learn more link here. And that's it. That is payments powered by Marketing 360. We hope this video helps you understand the power behind payments and how to utilize it to organize your business revenue information. For more information or for any general questions you may have about the tool, feel free to check out our extensive online knowledge base at support.marketing360.com or send us an email at support at marketing360.com.